Okay, this is Meet a Tree Center 4, Reach Out and Touch. And this is another outdoor center. I forgot to mention in Center 3 that there were two outdoor centers. Um, so if you could combine information from both of these centers if you wanted to and make one outdoor center. So as with all the other, all the bins, there's the outline on it. And then the things that are usually in this bin, bin would be blindfolds and a cool book called Mighty Tree, um, an information booklet about um, forest products, and a big poster, what's a tree done for you lately? And when you use this poster, you can look under these flaps and say, oh, shoe polish is made from sap and resin. Or you might find out down here that Trees supply much of the oxygen we breathe. Or you might find out over here that trees supply the materials for many paints and varnishes. So each of these flaps gives you information about the tree. And, of course, there's Smokey the Bear. It says, Smokey's friends don't play with matches. So, um, also included in this center are an envelope with various um, extra materials. There's the Troll in the Tree story, which is a great story. Something you um, might start off the center with. Maybe go outside with the kids and sit in a circle and read it. Um, there's another short story called A Walk in a Forest in Washington State that kind of gives you clues about trees. And then there's a copycat page that um, I believe goes with this information in this handout. And then another copycat cage that talks about from paper to plastic. So um, things that are papers and plastic, and I believe there's a key for that somewhere in here. So in this center, you're going outside and you're exploring trees and what trees do for us and help us in our daily lives. Um, you are also going outside to um, just be able to get the kids to describe a tree using their senses other than sight, hence the blindfolds. So um, that's why it might be a good idea to start out with the stories um, either from the book or the Xerox handouts, laminated handouts. So you're going to divide the kids into pairs and blindfold one partner for each pair. For the younger kids, you might want to work as one group with only one or two students blindfolded at a time and then switch. Um, and for the older kids, it's up to your discretion if you want to um, let them go off in pairs or if you want to keep it as a group. What you're going to do is um, the blindfolded students will be guided to trees by the seeing students and they will um, try to describe the characteristics of the tree using as many unique and interesting and descriptive adjectives as possible. In the handout, or in the outline, um, some of the words that are suggested are soft, bumpy, rough, smooth, bristly, coarse, craggy, knobby, smooth, supple, uneven, plain, wrinkled. As many kinds of words as they can think of. You might actually brainstorm a list of words that kids might use to describe the trees before you ever send them off to look at or describe trees, not look at them actually since they're blindfolded. Um, <laughs> so, um, once the kids go and kind of make up all these words about the trees, then the student who isn't wearing the blindfold takes that student away from that tree and then they take the blindfold off and the student has to try to pick out what tree it was they were describing. Um, so they have to think about using words that they're going to be able to turn around and use to identify that tree once they're able to see again. Um, while you're doing this, um, then after, you, after you've done that, then the kids will switch roles and kids that weren't blindfolded before get a chance to go do different trees. And um, you can keep doing that until the time for your sensor is up. Um, Again, you want to talk about things that, that what, what wide variety of trees there are, their root systems, their trunk sizes, and all those kinds of things. Um, you might also talk about how these trees would look different if we were doing this in winter um, or in the spring. 
Um, and how it might, they might look if you revisit them in 10 years. Um, Whoa. The purpose is just to get the kids to really think about using their senses and to, to explore their environment. Um, as with all outside centers, it's super important to keep track of time so that your group, your whole, the whole thing is dependent on everybody getting back and switching groups on time. So make sure you keep track of the time. Um, and if you have any questions, you can email us at mitchellelf at gmail.com. Thank you.